Hello everyone, my name is Azza True. how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 mod showcase video of mine. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you top 5 mods of the week. It's episode 50. And before I do get into the top 5 mods of this week, I want to give a special shout out to all of you that have supported this series. It's been by far the most popular series I've ever had on YouTube. And thank you to the up to 20 to 30,000 of you that tune in every single week to watch the top five mods. I really do appreciate it. And we've been doing this for over a year now. We're coming up to the 52nd episode, which will be a year's worth of top five mods content. But I've done this series for over a year because there has been some weeks I've had to miss because of the modding tools being broken at some stage of the year. But nevertheless, I can't believe where the time has gone. It's just flown by and there has been a lot of mods. And I've done a lot of other modding videos like the top 10 Revenge of the Sith mods, the top 10 mods of the year and stuff like that and I'm going to be doing more stuff like that in the near future but anyway let's get on to this week's top five mods and in fifth position this week I have the now famous headless Dooku mod from Adisora so I made a video on this specifically a few days ago the mod literally removes Dooku's head and hands as seen in Revenge of the Sith and Kotaku the gaming website literally made an article about this mod and my video got featured in it, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this is a really famous mod now, and it literally just removes Dooku's hands and head, because you guys asked for it. It was the most requested skin, to be honest, for Count Dooku before he did get released. I saw so many people on the forums, on Reddit, on Twitter, saying, please, can we get a headless Dooku skin? Of course, it will never happen, but nevertheless, if you want to try it out, then here it is for you. In fourth position this week, I'm going to give it to the Shadow and Shot Trooper mod from CC2980. So this literally replaces the standard assault for the Imperial with a Shadow Trooper and the Heavy with a Shot Trooper. These are two skins that were in the previous game and they really need to be in this game because they even made merchandise for Battlefront 2 and it was the Shock Trooper and well over a year later the Shock Trooper is still not here which is really frustrating and the Shadow Trooper was that famous level 50 unlock back in the previous game and to me it's still one of my favourite Stormtrooper designs it looks fantastic alongside the Shock Trooper and I really wish DICE put these in Battlefront 2 in the future but if you want to try them out in arcade using the Assault and Heavy class well this is the mod that will allow you to do it. And in third position this week, I have a mod from King Warrior 5000. It is not a clone trooper mod, but it is a Jedi Master Dooku mod from the Expanded Universe. And actually looks really, really cool. So it uses the Jedi robes we have in the game and stuff like that. And it has some really nice color to it. He gets a blue lightsaber instead of a red one. And it looks quite good. We all know that Dooku was a Jedi before he became a Sith. And as you can see, you can use him just like a Jedi, although he will be on the dark side, of course, in the game. And he will have the lightning stun ability, but nevertheless, it looks pretty cool. And I think a lot of good work went into making this mod. And the runner up for this top 5 mods of the week episode is the Captain Cardinal mods from Mango. And this replaces Phasma with Captain Cardinal. Now, and if you don't know who he is, he is a character in the Star Wars Resistance TV show and the Phasma book. He has basically the same armor as Phasma, except it is red and it looks really, really cool. Now, Mango is looking to make custom star card images, update the texture a little bit more and do a few other things to make the mod even better. So this will be updated over time, but it's a really nice mod. It looks fantastic, plays well. It doesn't change anything like the abilities and stuff like that, but nevertheless, it's pretty awesome. 
And the winner of this top five mods of the week episode is the Grand Admiral Thrawn mod from King Warrior 5000. So this uses parts of Dooku and the Imperial Officer, the standard Imperial Officer look, to make Admiral Thrawn. It completely retextures Dooku's face, gives him that blue look and red eyes, and it looks fantastic. I think a lot of great work went into the creation of the white outfits. I love the colours, the gold, the reds, the blues. King Warrior did a fantastic job with this one. It's definitely my favourite Admiral Thrawn mod there is. I've seen a few, and there is a specifically good one that looked great, but this one just looks even better, and it really makes use of Dooku's features to make Admiral Thrawn. Be sure to let me know your favourite mods in the comment section below and vote for your favourite mod in the top right hand corner of this screen. You can click the little i button, it'll take you to a poll and you can vote in YouTube. It's really simple. And the winner of last week's with an overwhelming majority was the Darth Sidious mod at 59%. The Darth Malak one got 8%, which is a lot lower than I expected. The Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan got 13%, the 187th Clone Troopers got 10% and the throne room Luke got 7%. I'm really shocked about those results so I'm excited to see what happens this week when we do get the results for this video. Be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more mod videos of Star Wars Battlefront 2 and turn those notifications on. Check out any of the two previous videos on the screen if you did miss them and I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.